Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about how you can browse your Google Spreadsheets directly from R. This helps us giving the immense flexibility that we don't really have to switch between multiple windows to really look into the Google Spreadsheets or search for it but all the information is right in front of us and we can utilize the uh, R power to browse through our Google Spreadsheets. So before I go ahead, quick advice that if you want to keep receiving the notification about the latest videos, then please subscribe to the channel. All right, so first of all, we need to uh, import the library, which is Google Spreadsheets, Google Sheets, and then GS underscore authentication is our option to refresh our token with the or refresh the information uh, that we have already uh, with the Google Spreadsheet or Google account. So uh, after this, we need to register the sheet and to register the sheet, we need to take the information in some object. So the sheet that we are interested in is in the empty cards, which is present in my Google account. So I will say empty cards underscore GS underscore sheet. And by using the GS underscore title, I will just give the name of the sheet which is empty cars once I do that it successfully identifies the sheet empty cars and then I can use the GS underscore browse option GS underscore browse to browse the Google spreadsheet well if you want to know about more about this then put a question mark and write GS underscore browse once you do that you get a lot of information about the Google GS underscore browse command where it first asks for the SS which is your spreadsheet here in this case this is the spreadsheet that you register and then which worksheet you want worksheet 1 either you can provide like this or you can provide the name of the worksheet so if you are really not bothered which whether it is one or two or third spreadsheet you want to bind it by the name then you can specify the name also we will look at both the options here in this case so First of all, GS underscore browse and then the name of the empty cars underscore GS sheet is one we registered, comma, WS is equals to one. So let's first utilize this and hit enter. Once I hit enter, it gives me the information about my Google spreadsheet. Well, that's quick and easy. Next option is if I'm not sure which Google spreadsheet it is and we want to bind it by name then I will write empty cars once I write this it again goes back to the same sheet and open this empty cars sheet let's say if I have another sheet which is uh, empty cars 2 or maybe another one which is empty cars 3 then in that case let's see if it does that stuff empty cars 2 it says worksheet empty cards to not found. Why? Because we have not refreshed or we have not uh, given the information to R that the information has been updated there in the Google spreadsheet. So that is the stuff we need to remember. So for that, we need to again register our sheet, which because the sheet has been updated with the new information. Once we do that, it says it is successfully updated. And now if we go, it opens up the second worksheet for us. So empty cards 2 is now shown to us. Well, that's something uh, you can utilize when you are working with the Google analysis, which involves connecting the Google spreadsheets and browsing through and looking at a lot of information back and forth to make sure your analysis works fine and data stuff. That's pretty much all I wanted to discuss in this video and I'll meet in the new video with some new topic.